Parents of Reddit, what's the funniest reason you've been called into school to collect your child? I was called to collect my son when he was in first grade because he was being disrespectful to his classmates. They wouldn't explain. My son told me that Jeffrey pantsed him. That makes no sense. About an hour later the light bulb went on. You didn't wear underwear today. Did you? Nope. I was called in because the elementary school was going on a field that my son forgot to give me the permission slip for. He decided to give forgery a whirl. This was in first grade so the handwriting was awful. He also signed my name mom. I got a phone call earlier this year from the school nurse. Saying she was concerned because my son had passed out while in the lunch line. I went to pick him up and he seemed a little dazed. But okay. My kid couldn't remember anything about what happened beforehand. So I made an appointment with his pediatrician for an hour later. Right as we were getting ready to leave. He sheepishly said mom. I just remembered that right before I passed out. We were playing a game to see who could turn their face the reddest. So. My kid had me thinking he had a brain tumor but no. He just held his breath until he passed out. And not a single other kid thought they should mention that to the teacher. Thanks for the gold. In my senior year of high school I was nearly not allowed to graduate and my family was called because I forged my own name. I was 18 and living on my own my senior year. I went to the nurse with a migraine and wanted to go home. He had no problem with agreeing to send me home. But she insisted I needed a guardian's permission. I had to call my aunt. Who I hadn't lived with in months to get permission. I also had my cell phone confiscated for checking it in between classes. The rule was that a parent had to come get it. I then informed the teacher that I had no guardians and I was. In fact a legal adult. He gave the phone back at the end of class. My kid got in huge trouble in kindergarten. A girl told the teacher he said the S word. He lost recess. They called me. It was a big deal. I went to pick him up and said. So. What's the S word? And he stared at his shoes and whispered. S I. Yeah. Confirmed by the little tattletale. All of this was caused by S I. Funniest one I've ever heard. My kid surprisingly well behaved. At school. Comma was a parent having to come get their kid after they were caught selling imaginary friends to the younger students for one dollar apiece. I made the mistake of telling my stepdaughter about the professor I had in college that we knew never read our papers so it turned into a class game to fit ridiculous sentences and bad jokes into the middle of them to see if we'd ever get caught. She apparently decided that was an amazing thing to do and I got called for a phone conference because she turned in a history paper that was chock full of awful puns that were not appreciated. My mother was called to pick me and my twin sister up because we were turning blue. I think it was 4th grade. We felt fine though. It was only after she arrived that we all remembered she had put brand new blue flannel sheets on our bed the night before. Apparently she hadn't washed them first. Edit. Whoa. Silver. I've never had one of these before. I'm really honored. My little brother likes cheese and mustard sandwiches. So my mom made him cheese and mustard sandwiches for lunch. When the teacher asked why he didn't have any meat on his sandwich. He said either we can't afford meat or my mom doesn't let me or something like that. Whatever he said was enough to send CPS over to the house. Another time. He came to school saying that his mom loved coke. That his mom said she is addicted to coke. CPS was called again. They lived in a different area this time. Coca Cola. My mom couldn't go a day without a coke. So she joked that she was addicted to coke. I do see the irony that she was actually addicted to a drug. Just not the one CPS was worried about. In high school shop class. The teacher was upset at my friend because his work area was messy. The teacher said something like would your mother tolerate this at home? Kid responded my mother is always at the bar. Teacher walked away. I said your mother works at the bar. He replied got him to stop talking. I got a call that my son was sick and that I had to come pick him up. He was completely fine that morning. I asked the nurse. 
He really can't go back to class. And she said. He says he's really sick. Fine. I picked him up and on the walk home I asked what was up. He said he had to fart really badly and didn't want to do it in class. I laughed and said okay. Two days later I get another call to pick him up. So I got him and it was for the same reason. I told him that it was funny once but that from now on. If he needed to fart in class. He should go to the bathroom lol. Daycare. Had to talk to the director because my son. Three or four. Told another kid I'm gonna f you up. Turns out he was singing Bruno Mars. Uptown funk you up. My child's first grade teacher was upset that he had accidentally smooshed a butterfly on the playground at recess. When I got there my child was also missing his glasses. She hadn't noticed this. Semicolon. My youngest had a slight speech impediment when he was at nursery. He would replace his S's with F's to approximate the sound. I had to have a chat with the head at pickup time because I'd unthinkingly used the phrase so long suckers when pulling away from some traffic lights the day before and he liked the sound of it so much he used it himself. My professor cited my mom because she said I was writing too slow and turned my test in right as the bell rang. My mom had to leave work early to hear about her child writing slow. The reason I was writing slow was because on my last test, I was docked points for handwriting. So this time I made sure I had the pertiest, most fanciest handwriting that teacher had ever seen. After that, the teacher stopped docking me points due to handwriting. That was in elementary school. Early years. The principal called us and looked at us with a stern look of disapproval while telling us our son was using bad language. I then proceeded to explain to her that my wife and I only spoke French at home and we did not have television. The only English our son had ever heard was at school. So I asked her what she was going to do about it. It was one of the shortest conversations I ever had with a principal. Edit. Thank you everybody for the lively discussion and interesting comments. I did not think it would get that much interest. It is obviously a very precious personal moment that my son and I will cherish forever. Had you got a kick out of it? Close bracket. About the principal. As I recall. She suddenly remembered she had to do something urgently and the meeting was over before I could say anything else. I was the kid and I was in third grade. I climbed on a tree, not even that high, and then I wanted to climb down. A teacher who hated me saw me and told me to stay there and not to move. I told her it's no problem for me to come down. She insisted I stayed there and turned around to call the fire brigade to get me down. I had enough and climbed down anyway and then she called my mom because it was my fault the fire brigade was called for no reason. I was in an early morning college class and when I got out I realized I had missed calls, texts, and emails from my daughter's preschool. A voicemail said she had been throwing up and to please hurry and come get her. When I got to the school the receptionist showed me to a room where my daughter was sat with a trash can on her lap. She told me my daughter kept announcing she was throwing up and then would cough and spit into the trash can. She had no fever and was otherwise cheerful and talkative. I signed her out. Got her outside and into my car where she jumped forward and kissed my cheek and told me she missed me and where would I like to go for lunch. That kid busted herself out of preschool to finagle a lunch date with me. It worked. I was a child. In 6th grade, I was 12. I was in my emo phase and was wearing a lot of black eyeshadow from Claire's. I guess I wasn't so good at my makeup yet because they called my mom into the office to discuss my injuries and who was hurting me. My son went to a private catholic school from 1st grade through 8th grade. I had a nun call me one day because my son and a friend were having a peeing for distance contest in the bathroom and then another day I was called because my son was looking to see if the dictionary had a word penis in it. Both incidents were in the third grade. My dad got sent to the principal's office for telling his 6th grade teacher she was pronouncing the state capital of South Dakota, Pier, wrong. She kept saying, Pier, two syllables. Like the French name, and he said it was, Pier, one syllable. Like what you fish off of. He was sent off for not respecting a teacher's authority. 
my grandma had to drive to school to talk to the teacher and principal and says. Did you ask why he says it's peer? Because if you did. I'd find out that both his father and I are from South Dakota. He visits his grandparents and aunts and uncles in South Dakota every summer. He knows plenty of people from South Dakota who all say peer. Do you know anyone from South Dakota? No. Well. Take it from a South Dakotan. It's peer. We're not fancy French people. And stop wasting my time. Edit. Thanks for the silver. You're so kind. My son. 14. 8th grade. During class change walked into the boys bathroom. Put his hands over his head and while thrusting his hips in a humping motion told all the other boys in the room to protect your buttholes gentlemen. Here I come. Full stop. The funniest part about it all. That exact same description was jotted down on the write up slip. Even the principal couldn't stop laughing. Edit. Thanks for the silver. My first. My daughter hid inside of a toy box for hours in preschool and the teachers couldn't find her. Lol. She's going to be my wild child. When I was in second grade I had a shirt that we got as a hand down from a friend of my mom's with braille on the front. Apparently no one ever took the time to figure out what it said. But there was a translator key on the sleeve so I sat down and translated the word on the front one letter at a time while in class. F. U. C. K. O. F. F. Oh my. I said. I knew this was a bad word so I told my teacher and apologized. I wasn't in trouble. But my parents were called and asked to come bring in a new shirt while I waited in the office. My principal principal thought it was hilarious. Apparently. We had a classmate who was partially blind. I'm unsure if she had vision enough to see my shirt but she did no braille. I believe that is one of the reasons I had to wait in the office. Oh. Not a parent but as a kid when I got Pokemon Yellow I was so goddamn into it that when we went out for lunch one day at school. I got inside this huge bush that was practically hollow inside. It was among a load of other large bushes and trees at the side of the school field and rarely ever was entered by students because we weren't really allowed. So I sat there for hours playing Pokemon and when I came out it was 3pm. School closed at 3. 30. I had been in there since 12. 30 and my mother was at the school and was freaking out because she thought they let me leave the school alone. I got called on my work cell several times right out of college to come to a local high school because my 14 year old son was in trouble. I don't have a son and. If I had a son. It would be very impressive if he was 14 years old then because I would have had to conceive him when I was 9. I told them that. They kept calling. Finally. I showed up at the high school to prove that I. A 23 year old white guy was not the father of the 14 year old Indian boy. The assistant principal was like oh. Right. My mom told me that when my brother was in grade school. She got the call to pick him up for a day's suspension. Turned out that during lunch he opened his lunchbox and pulled out a can of Fosters. It was empty and it was meant to be a joke. But the school didn't see it that way. He was 9 and right at the start of a decade long mission to raise hell. I got a call to pick up my daughter in kindergarten because she had no underwear. She had them on when I put her on the bus so I have no idea what happened. Oh. My. I have four kids. All adults now. Who were pretty high spirited back in the day. My oldest son. However wins the prize from an incident in 6th grade. I got a call one afternoon that he had been sent to the principal's office. Nothing new there. And I needed to come get him at once. Uh oh. He had mooned the second graders. All of them. And their teachers. Not me. But a classmate of a co-worker sent everyone home once. Many years ago. He nicked decent bit of elemental potassium from the chemistry lab and dropped it down the sewer access pipe outside the school. This was not good for the school's plumbing. City had to dig up the sidewalk to repair things. Not me. But my sister. She got a call from her son's very catholic school that he needed to be picked up. 
She gets to the school and the principal said that he had to hoe home for the day because he peed on the tree outside at recess. He really laid into her about how they had to bleach the tree, seriously. They poured bleach on the tree because a little kid peed on it. Comma and it was terrible and how she shouldn't be teaching her son these things. My sister looked him straight in the eye and asked. Do you really think I have the right plumbing to have taught him that? Yell at my husband when he comes in next time. Me. When I was a kid we moved from middle America to the west coast. I had extra R sounds in a lot of my words. They called my mom about my speech impediment. After talking to my mom. They understood it was not a so etch impediment but my birth sound language. It is Washington not Washington. Not a parent. But my sister once convinced half of her pre-k class to drop their pants in front of their vice principal. I don't even remember why. I think they wanted more recess. I received a call from the VP of my daughter's school one day while I was at work. I could tell the VP was holding back her laughter. But she tried to remain professional. Hello. Your daughter acted out in class today. The children were switching from coloring to reading at the carpet. She threw her crayons down and pointedly said to the teacher are you f king kidding me? My knee jerk reaction was damn it. Are you f king kidding me? It is clear where she learned this from. My second thought was damn. I have a kid in junior kindergarten that knows how to use that phrase in a correct form. The following year. The VP is no longer at the school. We attend similar social group and talk often. She loves to tell me that making that phone call was one of the funniest calls she has had to make as an educator. My dad was called to the school when I was in grade 1. Apparently I'd been caught with my hand in a girl's pants and hers in mine. While in class. My fiancé works at a child development center. You'd be surprised how often this happens. Kids are curious creatures and the difference between boy parts girl parts are interesting discrepancies to notice or realize. That said it is still usually taken seriously and parents are at least informed. Depending on the context it can also be a huge red flag. Also she teaches like. 3 year olds. For reference. <laughs> Nephew is staying with me for 2 months. I showed him Dexter's laboratory for the first time. I too was the child. I peed on my friend in 5th grade. We were competing in who could pee the furthest back from the urinal. When a buddy of mine decided to run underneath it for laughs. Hand slipped. Peed down his back. My 4 year old's teacher told me he had repeatedly called her an asshole. She had taken something away from him and said that's all. Every time she came near him he said that's all to her. Knowing him. He probably he used the same tone of voice she had used. And she was a nasty piece of work. When my eldest was in 7th grade. I was called to school and told he was sharing inappropriate photos with his friends. He had torn pictures from magazines of classic nude artwork. When I asked my son where he found the pictures. He told me magazines in the school library. I asked the school why they were supplying my son with smuts and they got all pissy. Apparently I was supposed to discipline my child. Not laugh at the school system. Unicorn club. So my daughter was in 5th grade. She was proving to be pretty responsible. So she was allowed to have a cell phone. Because she was home about an hour before I was on weekdays. And an Instagram account that I heavily monitored. We never had any issues. Still haven't and she's now in high school. Well. I get a call from her school's principal one day. He tells me two boys were fist fighting in the lunchroom. I asked what that had to do with my daughter. Well apparently my child had used an Instagram account to start what was essentially a cult called Unicorn Club. Unicorns were obviously the worshipped deity. With goats being the devil figure to the unicorn gods. These two boys got into a fist fight over whether unicorns or goats were better. I had to pick her up to prevent further disputes and disband Unicorn Club. TL. DR. 